Now, Virat Kohli, the cricketer, has never shied away from expressing his thoughts, be it about his form, the mental state is going through too much, and especially when it comes to his injuries. Now, speaking at a press briefing shortly after losing to Pakistan in a Super 4 stage of the Asia Cup match, Virat Kohli revealed that it was only MS Dhoni who reached out to them when he relinquished his test captaincy post. I can tell you one thing that when I left the test captain, I only got a message from one person who played with me before. That was MS Dhoni. And a lot of people have my number. I mean, there are a lot of suggestions on the TV. There are a lot of people who have to say something. But those who have my number, there is no other message. So, one respect, one... जो एक कनेक्शन होता है किसी के साथ, वो जब जेन्युइन होता है तो वो इस तरीके से दिखता है, क्योंकि दोनों तरफ सेक्युरिटी होती है, ना उनको मुझसे कुछ चाहिए, ना मुझे उनसे कुछ चाहिए, और ना मैं उनसे कभी इनसेक्युर था, ना वो कभी मुझसे इनसेक्युर था, तो बस मैं इतना ही कह सकता हूँ कि मैं अगर किसी के बारे में कुछ बोलना चाहता हूँ तो मैं उसको इंडिविजुअली रीच आउट करता हूँ। अगर आपको हेल्प भी करनी है किसी की, मतलब आप सजेशन पूरी दुनिया के आगे देंगे तो फिर उसकी वैल्यू मेरे लिए कुछ नहीं है क्योंकि अगर मेरे लिए वो मतलब की चीज़ है मेरी इम्प्रूवमेंट के लिए तो आप वन ऑन वन भी बात कर सकते हैं कि यार आई जेन्युनली वांट कि आप अच्छा करो तो वो समाओ मैं तो अपनी लाइफ बहुत ऑनिस्टी से जीता हूँ तो मुझे ये चीज़ें दिखती हैं तो ऐसा नहीं मैं बोलूँगा कि मुझे फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता है लेकिन आपको सच्चाई दिखती है बस मैं उतना ही बोल सकता हूँ कि आप जब इतने समय तक खेलते हो आप ऑनिस्टी से खेलते हो देने वाला ऊपर वाला ही है मतलब और मैं इसके आगे कुछ नहीं बोल सकता बाकी आप हाथ पैर कितने भी मार लो जब उसने देना है तभी देना है और कोई कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता इसके बारे में तो मैं तो अपनी लाइफ ऐसे ही जीता हूँ और जब तक खेल रहा हूँ जब तक मैं यहाँ पे खेलने की वर्दी हूँ मैं ऐसे ही खेल रहा हूँ we have Karishma joining us here on the broadcast. Uh, Karishma, good morning. As far as Dhoni and Kohli are concerned, they have shared a very comfortable equation. But this is, in a way, candid uh, Virat Kohli that we are witnessing. And who exactly is he talking about who did not reach out to him when he wanted their support the most? Well, Amita, what Virat Kohli is saying is the fact that a lot of former greats of the game have commented publicly on how he could possibly improve or how he could better his game when he was going through a rough patch but it was only MS Pony who reached out to him personally when he quit test captaincy. He in fact goes on to say that a lot of people have my number, uh, can personally reach out to me but it was only MS Pony that reached out to me uh, that asked me how I was doing after I quit a test captaincy. So clearly Virat Kohli uh, making it amply clear uh, that he shares a bond with MS Dhoni, uh, that he shares with uh, no nobody else. In fact, he goes on to say that there is no insecurity between MS Dhoni and him. He doesn't want anything from MS Dhoni and vice versa. In a way, also taking a jibe possibly at the current uh, cricketers and the former greats of the game who have time and again uh, publicly shared their opinion about Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli, they're saying that you have my number, you can reach out to me personally and only then will I feel that you genuinely want me uh, to do well in my career rather than making these uh, statements uh, where it does not matter to me at all. Hmm. But how did it start to unravel in the first place, Karishpa, especially when uh, Ko for uh, Kohli, when India was knocked out of the 2021 T20 World Cup after ro uh, losing to uh, Pakistan and thereafter Kohli left his T20 captaincy and later saw his ODI captaincy also being stripped off. Exactly where did it all start? Well, yes, it all started with uh, last year's World Cup, a T20 World Cup in Dubai, when Virat Kohli decided to step down. After that, uh, everyone will remember that press conference that was done before the team was leaving uh, for South Africa, wherein Virat Kohli very openly said that nobody from the BCCI reached out uh, to him to stop him from uh, stepping down from captaincy. He, in fact, went on to say that when he was being removed from the ODI captaincy, he was just informed uh, 90 minutes before. But even after all of that, Virat Kohli has managed uh, to continue. He was uh, being, you know, criticised for not having scored a century in the last uh, three years, but slowly and steadily Virat Kohli is uh, coming back into form half century against Hong Kong firstly and now he played a very very crucial role in that match against uh, Pakistan yesterday so Virat Kohli silencing all his uh, critics uh, with his actions and not just mere words Amita. Hmm.
because addressing the media, Kohli did not, uh, you know, himself uh, hold back one single bit. And uh, the lean patch, uh, Karishma, because he was going that through before the Asia Cup, he took a break from international cricket. And in a way, has it helped him also mentally also to understand the game that also happened beyond the field of cricket? Well, it's absolutely. This is what Virat Kohli, in fact, said in the interview that was revealed uh, by the BCCI uh, that uh, he took a break from the game because he was at a moment in his life where he did not feel like touching uh, the bat and he said that that wasn't him. So clearly he took a mental break, a physical break from the game of cricket so that he could refresh, recharge himself and come back uh, to the spot that he loved, that he has uh, given so much and that can be seen in his performance now, whether it was his Hong Kong or uh, uh, Pakistan and obviously everyone will just be hoping from Virat Kohli that he can carry on this momentum right. obviously towards the end of the Asia Cup and also into the World Cup. So Virat Kohli there sharing intimate details of uh, this uh, test captaincy resignation and also featuring former India skipper MS Dhoni and the respect that these two cricketers share amongst each other. Thank you very much for the moment uh, Karishma for joining us.